Now, uh, there's something that's coming up that I wanted to give some publicity to. Matthew Taylor's managing director of a company called Shift Solutions, which is an IT company uh, based in the Ipswich uh, Red Bank area, and he's putting on a dinner, a good gathering dinner, he's calling it, to help youth in that area of Brisbane. Of course, that area was badly devastated during the flood. It's going to be at the... Uh, recently reopened Goodna RSL, which itself I think was under about 30 feet of water. I was there just after the flood. It was just amazing to think how high the water was. And some people still suffering in that area. And a lot of businesses such as Matthew Taylor from Shift Solutions are doing their bit to try and get the community back on its feet. And he's looking for donations, as you'll find out during our discussion. Happy to say that Matthew's on the line. Welcome. Hi, John. How are you going? Very well. Tell me about uh, this fundraiser you've organised. Well, uh, I'm uh, the Vice President of the Goodner Community Board and uh, in that role I thought it would be a great idea to uh, get the uh, Goodner and surrounding community together, uh, raise some money for a local community group and uh, see what else is possible uh, for the area that was uh, devastated in the floods recently. Yeah, that area was really knocked around, wasn't it? It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's a long while ago in time, but uh, for those that were affected, it's still very prominent in their memories. Yes, well, I mean, the Goodner RSL, which was completely destroyed uh, in the flood, has only recently reopened. So uh, for a lot of people, the flood's long gone, but for the Goodner community, it's still very much a part of our lives. It's hard to believe that I was there just after the flood, and uh, obviously it had been totally wrecked by it, but it was about 30 feet over the Goodner RSL, I was told. Um, we went right over the roof, um, and the RSL is a two-storey building, so... It's, uh, it was very, very deep right in the heart of Goodna. Um, a lot of businesses in that area uh, were very badly affected, completely destroyed, um, and, and, and still some businesses haven't even reopened. So we're lucky to have a lot of them still around who've managed to, uh, to overcome it. And are, are people slowly getting their lives back together in that, that area? Oh, absolutely. Um, obviously, there's plenty of people who, uh, who are still affected, but uh, at the same time, we're getting on with it. Um, the area is going forward. Um, there's plenty of people doing some great work out here to bring everything back up to to, to normal. Okay, well, this dinner you've organised, uh, what's what's on the uh, on the menu, so to speak, and uh, when is it, and how can we get involved? Well, it's uh, on the 22nd of September. So we've got a bit of time to plan. Plenty of time to get your tickets bought and yes. uh, organise yourselves. Yep. Um, we're uh, having a lovely three-course meal provided by the uh, Goodner RSL Function Centre. Yep. So it will be at the Function Centre, which is on Wolverine Street in uh, in Goodna. Yep. Um, we, uh, <clears throat> we are having a silent auction on the night, so there will be some really great uh, stuff that uh, people can uh, bid on on the silent auction, uh, including uh, one feature there is a, a six-person winery tour, which is uh, worth about 900 bucks. So it's a great, uh, a great day out for a team. Gee, where, that, where is that going? Uh, wherever they like. Uh, oh, wow. Darren's book runs those, and he uh, he goes out to uh, Mount Tambourine or out through uh, out through uh, the west of Ipswich and all those areas. Gatton. Uh, are you still looking uh, for businesses to donate items to auction, or have you basically sorted that out now? Oh, absolutely. The more the merrier. If there's uh, businesses that uh, would be interested in donating items for the auction, donating small items for door prizes, we've already got a bunch of those, including some stuff from Telstra, um, or, uh, or just wanted to donate some cash to help uh, pay for the dinner, I mean, all of that would be gratefully received. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get your number before the end of this discussion, so there might be some small business folk or medium to large business folk listening to the program who decide that... Uh, they can put their hand in their pocket for you because it's a very worthy cause. 22nd of September, the dinner to aid those ravaged by that uh, shocking situation up there in the Goodner area at the uh, newly revamped Goodner RSL. Uh, so you've got a, a great menu. You've got some great prizes organised for the raffles. What else have you got? Um, well, we're hoping to get uh, a great number of people from the local community involved and uh, we're going to make it a bit of a uh, forum for the local community to see what's possible uh, going forward. Now that we've sort of put the shock of the floods behind us, now we want to look at uh, really growing that local region and, and taking it forward. Um, and so we're really going to be looking to have a forum there around that. And uh, certainly the proceeds from the, uh, the dinner are all going to go to the Base Youth Agency, which is a great local you know, institution. Been tell tell us a little bit about what they do. Well, they really look after our young people. Um, there's lots of young people everywhere, but certainly in our neck of the woods who are struggling with um, you know, violence, um, drugs, alcohol, mental illness, uh, and, and many people 
getting into a little bit of trouble and what the base youth agency do is um, take those kids on and uh, give them the counselling and the support that they need to stay out of trouble, stay clean and, and, and really have great fulfilling lives and uh, I really think that you know, supporting our youth is probably the most important thing we can do, that they are the future obviously and going to be the next generation of, of leaders in our community so we decided to uh, support that, that group uh, in this dinner and you know, in future years we'll support other groups in the local area to help them do what they do best. Well I would imagine your uh, Mayor from Ipswich would be one of the first people on your list, he'd, he'd be a candidate I would think. Uh, yes, Paul is uh, supporting the dinner. He won't be able to make it, unfortunately. He's uh, got prior commitments on the evening, but um, he has uh, already supported the dinner. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Now, if people would like to get involved and obviously support the business uh, dinner and the businesses in the area and that local youth group, uh, did you mention a price yet? Uh, I didn't. So tickets are available uh, via our Eventbrite website. Probably the easiest thing for people to do is go to our Facebook page. Yes, which is? facebook.com slash Goodner Gathering, yes. which is what we're calling the night. Right. Uh, and they can get all the information about the ticket prices. You can buy a table of eight, which is a little bit cheaper. And uh, there's a special coupon code there, Early Bird, if people want to get in early and uh, they'll get the tickets nice and cheap. I think they get some for about 57 bucks. Okay, and if they wait, how much? Uh, the full price is 97 Right. Um, so, uh, yeah, it'd be good to get in early and and get the tickets, and certainly if there's some business owners want to bring their whole team, that would be awesome, the tables are available. Okay, so now your Facebook page is? Facebook.com slash Goodner Gathering. Okay, wonderful. Now you've got a website? Uh, no, we're just running it on the Facebook page. Okay, all right. Well, there you go. That's that's easy enough to remember, and uh, we're happy to give you the support that you need because any, any support we can give that area after the devastation... Uh, we'd love to do so. All right, well, good luck with it, Matt. Really uh, appreciate that, John. That's on the 22nd of September, but don't wait. Get in and book now. Get on the Facebook page and uh, book your ticket. And uh, as we've already said, if you are a business owner or you're uh, a medium-sized business person, please get in touch with Matt if you would like to donate some money or you've got a prize you may like to donate. Now, can we give... Uh, have you got a, a contact number we can give out for those folk listening? Certainly do, John. It's zero four one nine six double eight two double six. All right. Good to talk with you, Matt. Thanks for being Thanks a part John. of the program. Good luck with the dinner, and uh, we'll keep giving it a plug here. Thanks, mate. You have a great one. There he is, uh, Matthew Taylor, doing his bit for the community of Goodna, who uh, were so devastated by those floods, the youth of Goodna particularly, with the Goodna Gathering dinner. He's from Shift Solutions, a local IT.